Previously, on Perp plays Baldur Gate 3. We stopped the man from hurting a child. We met a bard lady that needed help with the song. We rescued a kid from walking into a nest of harpies. We met a few more new people and finally entered the grove. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Another I've step lost forward. Mrs. Gorga. Release her! She stole the idol of Sylvanus. She must pay the price. We will imprison the thief under guard of my serpent. When we cast out the rest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. The grove will be made safe. The circle will be closed. What's up for discussion? Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me! <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. That's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. 
your illness causes you to consume raw magic, I'm going to need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. I expected as much. Don't worry, I'll help. Splendid! Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. And if I haven't spoken up, what would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out or worse. How did that snake take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gain But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. If no one's looking for Helsing, I can do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. No need, I'll find him. Sylvanas' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. Shh, it's all right. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He'll chase you down if not for his master. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlar believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlar. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems at best speak to Zevlar. 
You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. The towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. History or myth, whatever is depicted here is long past. That mural. In darkest hour, a concord made. Twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history written in riddles. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. The bird's eyes are glassy, its breathing weak. They did a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Healing. Looks like I came to the right place. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. So you killed him and laid him out on the table? No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's the plan? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Protected from on high? Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. 
You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So, you think it's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Where are you heading? To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. See to your business here quickly, then leave. Not yours. It's my job too. Yeah. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a null. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. 
Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Stop. I was fine. My mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how mum usually is? Uh, hey, are you here to trade or...? Bye, I guess. Heartless bastards. They deserve to have the goblins burn them out. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those druids are going to get us killed. Nothing sacred about this lot. Hello? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you help Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. Happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Thought you might need help with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. An idol? What you do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Count me out. I'm not getting involved with this. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything else? Why are you running all these scams and swindles? Risky, you know. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Boulder's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Quite the opposite. I want to invest in the newest thieves guild on the Sword Coast. Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. Aren't you the clever one? That's very kind. It's about you. I hope you like it. Once there was a boy on a beach. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber and wanted to climb to the top and steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then, an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water, so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him 
The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. And the boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and save people and never be scared again. Just like the adventurer. The end. I get to run the wing scan. Sylphie got caught. We have to lay low for a while. I'm You're blocking my light! Oh, I remember you. You're the one who helped me get away. You want something? Well, you just here to stare at my forehead. Yeah, okay, fine. Very funny. What do you want? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. You don't look so tough. Mole fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. What a day. No These things stay scouts, interesting. Yeah. No, sir. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here? or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Then why don't you get rid of her? A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. What's it worth to you? To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Simple enough. Well, this is it. Leave a like and subscribe. You guys pretty much know the drill by now. The next episode's gonna be premiered shortly. See you guys later.